Okay. Um, but it, but so this is uh, something that was taking uh, one of the cool parts of it as that viewfinder and having that extra screen. And, and that's basically it. It's called the viewfind. Like I said, it's on uh, Kickstarter right now. It's got 16 hours ago. It's at 226,000 of its $50,000 goal. And it is a Google Glass sort of thing. It's definitely a little, I want to say, obviously big, bigger and clunkier. And you're going to have to have it tethered to something. Like this big wire is going to hang down here. But you're not going to wear this to the coffee shop, right? You're not going to be wearing this all the time. This is a specific for-use thing. So, and they're looking at some of the prototypes there. They're pretty crazy. Uh, this actually reminds me of uh, when when I picked up the glass. Uh, we did a thing on Night Talk here on, on PCNC uh, with some of the guys from Carnegie Mellon University in the ro robotics department. And they showed like a prototype of what would be what we know as these, you know, on face cameras from like uh, the early 90s. And bigger version, but that's what this feels like. This kind of screen that you can position uh, in your view. And it's just kind of displays a video. Now, this takes HDMI. So their, their argument is Google Glass is trying to be a cell phone on your face. But most of us are happy with the functionality that we're already carrying around with our iPhones, with our, our Google phones and everything. So as long as your device can do an HDMI out of any sort, it will input into this device and now you have it in front of your face. So one of the samples that they get, I'll try to throw it up here on the video, uh, but one of the samples that they give is, uh, uh, you know, like if you, you bring up Google Maps, now it's right up there in your in your display. Uh, they're connecting, I, I think it's a little weird, but like this guy has a GoPro on his helmet, but then he has a display of what the video is that that GoPro's taking, right? Um, or somebody with a selfie stick as he's skateboarding in that video. I, I see this as the perfect thing for when we're doing shooting for pro wrestling sports. You don't want your head down in that display because mm -hmm. you want to make sure something's not coming at you. But being able to look up and have that display and move your camera independently seems like a really, really cool application of this. And the thing is only $150. So in wearable wise, it, it's fairly affordable. And, uh, and, I don't know. I think it, I think it works really well. It, it, here's the problem: you need to have glasses. I don't know if they have any kind of. Um, they have to have some sort of kind of uh, Google Glass style frame for those without glasses. But but for 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 most of us, this just fits right because. I want to say mostly in a work road, you're, you're going to be uh, wearing glasses anyways, and it just attaches right to that. So uh, now, Chilla, do you have thoughts on this then? Well, I, the more like I, I was interested because I, I I heard a conversation about a couple people that have Google Glass and how mm -hmm. they still use it. Um, I am less apt to use it as a second screen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using it from a photo documentary standpoint. Um, You're using the camera that 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 makes everybody else concerned right about the device now, i usually only use it around the house yeah you're not wearing it out uh, i'm not really wearing it out i may, it, it hasn't even gone past the backyard it's actually going to go past the backyard here in the next week oh yeah because it's going on vacation with me and we're going to the beach nice um don't get sand in it yeah i won't um but a, a lot of people i've heard recently and I, I think it was on mac break or or i'm not sure where it was but they were talking about maybe it was it um they were talking about how i think it was andy anako was saying i'll go he'll go on a walk and he uses it all for note taking mm -hmm. um so the second screen capability of this is nice but i feel like you're really that's all it is but i don't but i don't feel like you're getting all of the stuff that makes google glass special this is just a small, a small second monitor. It's really just kind of paring it down, isn't it? Which is where, which is where I think the price point comes in, right? Right. right. What, what I'm also confused on is, so there's a battery, but if I have to be plugged in all the time, what's the battery for? No, was the battery built in, or you mean the battery is there's like an extra battery, or it says internal battery, right? Probably, I don't know, a few, the fourth picture segment down. 
right. It has the virtual screen and the adjustable arm and the internal battery, that one. Okay. So what's the internal battery for if I have to... Well, no, it's going to be plugged in HDMI-wise. Like, you have to always have a video feed. That's okay. what the plug-in's going to be. Um, now, it's also going to have, if you want more power and or, or, or to charge, that the, so it basically has two ports. One's the HDMI, and you're going to need some kind of adapter cord, you know, to go from, basically, they're going to have, like, a mini HDMI port to whatever you need, like a full-size one maybe on a camera or whatever adapter that, you know, you plug into an Android device, and, and it'll turn it into a, a H, HDMI. Uh, so, I mean, you're going to have to figure out that part of it. And I don't know what plugs into, say, I don't know, a GoPro or something like that. But, uh, I, I think you're, you're right. You're right. It doesn't, it doesn't replace the Google Glass, but I think it adds a new functionality. Cause I, what, I mean, another big issue I have is, um, I was just shooting, um, outside on, on Saturday night at, at this ball field show. And, and when you have that LCD, you know, you also have, I can't see it in the sun. Is mm -hmm. another problem. That's very so true. So yeah. this would also help that. I'm just you're... I'm just thinking about, and, and they show the person using Google Maps mm -hmm. and, and setting it up while they're walking. Think about the phones that we use now. Some of the Samsung devices have HDMI out, so you can plug direct. Right. The majority of them, you're going to have a clunky, chunky lightning or usb to full size hdmi to convert full size hdmi <laughs> to micro to mm -hmm. then plug this thing in right i think it's going to be great when you're stationary or when you're like you're at the your desk right now right or you're standing still walk around doing directions probably doesn't make sense yeah, too much the sense the drone thing, thing looks really really mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. um because you can be looking down at your device controlling it as well as seeing it while you're looking down um the gopro thing i think is great because gopros typically don't a lot of the gopros don't typically have the a viewfinder on them right and the viewfinders typically never were somewhere where you're gonna actually be able to look at it right while you're filming so i think it's brilliant for that um i'm just not sold on the application like if you look at like the video of the drone pilot the contraption he has and the way this is hooked up and yeah he's got a pretty hefty controller slash and I, i'm guessing this uh it, it, the display is actually probably going to his phone and the mm -hmm. phone is actually connecting to his you scroll headset. down more okay keep scrolling scroll down scroll down a little more a little more a little more up oh, that that's one right there rewind that's his video yeah rewind okay. that one to the beginning Okay, mm -hmm. so so he's got like a little uh, uh, cell phone on an arm that's like on, you know. But go to the first frame of that video. First frame, okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. That's crazy. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it looks like he has an iPad Mini. Yeah. Wired into a controller, wired into like a PlayStation Two controller, <laughs> and then he has like three cords coming out of the headset. It's just it's just a lot. It seems bulky. If you, if you, I don't think you're going to be lugging that around. A lot of places but but if you're doing this if you're doing this kind of like drone videography this is a very specialized thing so you're gonna you know just like when you go somewhere to shoot something you know and you have the lights and the cameras and the teleprompter and the people with the boards shining the light like i mean this that's what and this guy's doing a very specialized thing here. Mm -hmm. and i think it, i think i think he will go through the trouble if that means he's going to get better stuff right because yes. once again if he's using well, I guess what he's got that map going on. How how does he? I don't know. We, we I didn't watch the video in advance, but the, but the videos outputting from that that app, you know, again, LCDs in in the sun, it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. So th this kind of would pick up on that issue too. So no, I, this is going to be very specialized. This if, is, if you're if you're lugging this much stuff around, just bring a dome with you to shade your shade. Just everything. bring a dome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you look at it, I mean, 